Taylor Boostrom, Business Development Manager for Sauk Valley Bank. Um, I have been in this role for only six months, but I've been in banking for seven years. In banking, as long as you have a hard work ethic, you have every possibility to move up the ranks. Um, I have been here for four years. I have had four promotions. I started as a universal banker and then was promoted to assistant retail market manager, then was promoted to retail market manager, then was promoted to deposit operations lead, and now in my current role, business development manager. I like that front facing, I'm um, talking to customers and also developing my employees. So I like tutoring them. I like developing them and seeing how I can make them progress. The most challenging part of my job would I would say be time management. I think it's difficult to um, figure out what is high priority, what is low priority and be able to put those in order to um, be successful and make sure you're doing the proper thing in, in order. You never know what you're gonna get in banking. You have these little kids that come in and they have their bucket of change and they're so excited to watch it go through the counter. And then you may have you know, an individual who wants to pull out $50,000 and you get to come out here and count all that money out <laughs> on the desk. Um, you never know what you're gonna get. It can be extremely busy, it can be extremely slow. Um, but a typical day for me would be obviously coming in, getting my branch open, um, making sure that the night drops are processed so that way we can open our drawers, we can open our blinds and get the day going. Um, and then it's also making sure my staff is ready as well. And also I'm processing transactions once the doors open. So that is, you know, deposits, it's withdrawals, it might be IRAs, it could be a numerous things on the process throughout the day. High proficiency on math skills, um, you're gonna be dealing with percentages, you're gonna be dealing with basic math, so addition, subtraction. That's probably the most basic skill that you would need to be in this profession. Extremely important to be accurate and when you're processing those loan documents. The next biggest piece would be your communication skills, um, your professionalism, because yes, you're gonna be dealing with those basic math, but then you're also gonna be dealing with customers coming in. So you need to make sure that you're able to look them in the eye, communicate with them professionally, and then also your internal customers too, so you have your coworkers that you need to also speak to them professionally. The hard work ethic of showing up to work every day and what's huge is a positive attitude. I can't stress that enough. That's huge in your personal and professional life. I was um, working at Finish Line, the shoe store in the mall when I started when I was 17. Um, I knew that that wasn't my long-term goal of putting shoes on individuals' feet, um, but I did know that customer service was huge for me. And I also liked numbers. Um, so I had a friend who worked at Fifth Third Bank, was referred over there, started my profession there, and then luckily came over to Sauk Valley Bank a few years after. If I could start all over again, no, I would not change my career path because at the end of the day, I know I need to be in that customer-facing profession. Um, so regardless if that's in banking or if that's in accounting or whether that's going to be, I know I'm, I'm in the right spot. It's usually students that are coming in um, and they want to be tellers. So part-time tellers, usually we're looking for students. Um, so we'll have those students come and work part-time. It could be anywhere from 15 to 30 hours. And then they find out that they really do like this. So we will develop them and have them move up the ranks if they want to. I think the biggest thing would be, you know, focusing and working on yourself within, you know, your high school years, making sure you are mastering those basic skill set for math. You know, when you're in school, that you're getting, you know, told from many different directions, whether you need to go to college, whether you need to, you know, just graduate high school and go, but focus on that first. Focus on your basic, basic math skills. Be responsible, show up to school, graduate high school, and then go from there. Don't give up. It gets worse before it gets better. Um, if you just keep putting your nose to the grindstone, it will pay off in the end. <laughs>